It's the War of 204 at Neuqua Valley High School as the Wildcats play host to the Wabonzi Valley Warriors, both teams looking to find some consistency in the new year. Wabonzi gets off to a great start. Hannah Law bounce passes to Amari Banks who knocks down the three in the corner to put them up 6-3. Lobb has it near the free throw line extended and she's able to get past Tia Paulakitas to bank it in while falling away. The Wildcats fight back though. Kylie Norcus with the crossover, she drives and finishes at the rim off the glass to put her squad up one. Final possession of the first. Caitlin Washington kicks it out to Maya Clifford, who drills the wide open three to beat the buzzer. They take a four point lead into the second. Taylor Curry had a big night for the Warriors as she went to the rim at will. She can't convert initially, but grabs her own miss and puts it back in over the taller Paula Kiedis. On the other side, Washington was Nico's go to option offensively. She hesitates and puts it home over two defenders. Then, Washington makes a nice pass out to Kylie Norcus, who swings to Zoe Navarro for the triple. Great ball movement by the Blue and Gold, who lead 33-31 at halftime. To the third quarter, where both teams trade three-point plays the hard way. Washington fights one up and gets the bounce for the and one. Off the rebound, Lauren Three knocks it away. Taylor Curry comes up with the steal and scores with the offhand plus the foul. On the very next play, Dub V forces another turnover with Devin Lynch, who leads the team in steals. She finds Curry again for the hoop and harm, and she can't help but smile after that one. Back and forth, both teams trading buckets, and you get the idea. Count that one for Washington and send her to the line again. It's 47 all at the end of three. Fourth quarter, Norcus looks inside to Shannon Gillespie, who converts on the layup. Still tied at 51. Less than two minutes to go with Nequa down two. Washington gets a good screen from Maya Clifford that helps her get to the cup to put her team back on top. Next possession and off the pick and roll, Curry dishes to Lauren Threat and she scores to retake the lead. What a game. Warriors get the last shot in a tie game. Curry spins into the lane, puts it up while falling down, and it's good at the buzzer to win the game for Wabonzi, 64-62. Truly an epic rivalry game. It feels great. We really needed this win coming off of doing not doing so great in the last tournament we had. Um, we were really motivated to win this game, especially since it was a conference game and our rivals, so we all just wanted to put our all into this game. It feels really good. Uh, Every time we go against them, that can be with any of our sports. This is the biggest game of the uh, season, so it just feels good to get the win. A two-pointer is better, better than a three-pointer because we were only down by one, so I'm like, that's a better opportunity. Ball went in. Hey, we won the game.